All right, fam. This is the first DIY video for the membership. These are the earrings we're going to be creating. Look how dope they are. All right, y'all. Let's get started. Salon, salon. This is Unity, and I'm here to show y'all how to make these dope DIY earrings. I don't know what I'm going to call them. They're really cute. So I already did one is drying. And let me show you how that look. This is what we created. And once this dry, then we're going to put a bead right there. So these will be what we're going to create. All right. So let me start. You you can use any, any shape you want to use. Wood. You can prime it with a the matte one you could use this right here or you could just use a primer i don't have a primer over here and the reason i'm not going to prime this one is because of the sake of time on the video all right two so, inch piece of wood you get that you sit that in the middle to just get that clean circle and just hold it down Go around like that. Just like that, y'all. You know, y'all can use a paintbrush. Y'all can use a marker, a paint marker, whatever y'all want to use. The thing with art, people have to be comfortable of what they want to use. If y'all prime it, y'all can use a paint marker so it won't bleed. So I'm just going to go around this real fast. I'm going to speed it up. Just going around, y'all. And this video will be here. It's not going anywhere. So you can stop, pause, all that. And then you just painted the inside. I'm going to speed that up. Now I'm just kind of going around it and just making everything even. You can paint. You don't have to paint this black. You could paint it white, any color you want. I just want to clean it up. As it dry, you can go back around. Okay. I'll let that dry. And then I'm going to get a lime green paint. The sour apple but you can use any color green you want to use the thing with art y'all it don't have to be hard it don't have to be complicated a lot of times people get wrapped up with it gotta be just the light i do a lot of flip-flop stuff but this pair is going to be similar so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take that around like that Now, remember, I work with wet paint. Y'all can let this dry and come back. But I work with wet paint. So, when you work with wet paint, sometimes, the like, the black can smear, smear on the green. But I, I can fix it. You can fix it, too. You can wait till that dry and come back and then start going around with the different colors that we're going to put around it. We'll stop right there. Okay, the next color I'm going to get is a red. This is a true red by Americana. I love Americana products. I have all kind of paints. The thing about Americana paints, I like the way they flow. I have like cheap paints, expensive paints. I have all kind of different paints. This is my favorite brand is americana it's really reasonable but you know everything is getting more higher than it used to be as you working on a piece of wood i mean a, a circle y'all use the circle shape you could just spin it around and just you know paint that
All right. So the next color I'm going to use is a little, like a little yellow. Just a little touch of yellow. I'm going to use Milo. Milo is another good brand. I think I showed y'all these before. I think I showed y'all these Milos. I like Milo. Um, brand. Everything I'm using is, uh, it'll be in the link of the description box. If y'all want to try Milo. I can't remember if I did it. I mean, a, a box open. I probably did. I can't remember. But if I didn't, I'll um, do a video and show y'all the different Milo paints. In different it. colors. Here go a um, brown. Here go a yellow. Here go the orange. I mean, the red. And it's a few more. Here go the white. I use they brand a lot also i like they brand too i like I, I just need to do a whole paint video to show y'all different paints okay so we're gonna get right here and just put a little yellow so you could tell the difference between paints too sometimes but they're dry all the same you see how milo is a little it's more expensive than um americana so usually when I use Milo, I really have to go over it a couple of times with a couple of coats. But it it depends. It depends on the color, like yellow. So when you when y'all creating, like I say, everybody had a way of how they create. Just take your time. There's no rush. Don't sit and try to compare the one you already did to the other one and it's not looking right. That gets you stuck. Just keep moving. Just enjoy the process. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is Ocean Blue, which, back to my colors, use this in Ocean Blue. I'm going to put a little bit. I'm going to put that right there. Okay, we got that. And then the next color we're going to use is orange, which I like this orange flame. I hadn't seen it in a while. I seen it some years ago when I went in Hobby Lobby. I found it. And I was like, wow, because I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it. You know, some colors, certain places you can't find it. And then we're just going to take this orange. We're going to finish everything off with the orange. I also want to thank you all that's watching the video that joined my membership. I really appreciate y'all. I was approved for membership probably 2000 and I think it was 2001. Finally said, you know, let me go on and do this. And the thing with YouTube, you know, I charged just $14.95. Which is a good deal for two DIYs that y'all can sell for thirty and forty dollars. Some of that money gonna go to YouTube. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to come back. Okay, y'all. So this is completely dry. I'm getting some gold paint. And this gold paint is by Deco Art. It's a Splendor Gold, one of my favorite colors. And then we just take the gold paint and just go around. I'm going to speed this up, y'all. The 
next color I'm going to get is white. I'm just going to use some of this Milo. Follow me, y'all. And just make a line right here. And you can use paint markers. I got some paint markers. Matter of fact, I got white and black. But we'll do that in another video. And just take, just soup that around like that. Or you can use a thin brush. You have a real thin brush. I'm just using the bead Remy. People that been, some people call it an all. I've been using this forever painting with. Something about it I like. I get my lines the way I want them. Okay. And we just put like an end on that. Y'all can stop, pause. The video is going to be up for a while. And then right here, y'all, we're going to put three little dots. And then we're going to do kind of like a, a upside down V. And then you're gonna do a something that looked like a V. Just making like an imitation mud cloth design. Cause the mud cloth designs they they mean something. So maybe I'll do a video and, and we can go through the symbols of the mud cloth. That'll be fun. I do that on my I just do that on my YouTube channel. And the meaning of certain symbols of mud cloth. Alright. And then we're going to put a dot and a line and a dot. And let's do like a little zigzag right here, y'all. You can use your permanent paint markers if you want to get your um so let's just put some line a line right here a line right here and we're gonna put another line right here and let's put another zigzag right here And then we put a dot right there and a dot right there. Maybe a dot right there and one right there. So, this is what we got so far, y'all. I want y'all to get a little bit of y'all black paint. And then we're going to work on the outer. So, we're going to... It's just like this, y'all. Just watch it. That's what I'm doing. See that? And we're going to take that all the way around, just like these little, I don't know what they call, but little design. Take it all the way around. And you could kind of put them different spaces. I mean, different directions. There you go.
So we're gonna let this dry. And then once this dry, we can glue this on. I'm gonna do this one this way. All right, y'all. And then once this gold dry, we're gonna put a little gold glitter around. Now the thing is, let me say this, y'all, because I, I don't think I said this. When when this dry, sometimes you have to put more than one coat around these. Cause I did, I think I yeah I did that when they was before it dried. I went around it, you know. I put more than one coat. I'm back, y'all. This is completely dry. But in the midst of it, I took some gold glitter paint and went around the gold outline that we did. Also, I wanted to say, remember I showed y'all early in the video about the Milo. I like Milo paints. But what I notice about certain ones, like this, the white, it cracks a little bit. It look good on earrings. It give like a cracking look. I don't know if y'all see this. This is, y'all can see that? So it cracks. So one of my favorite whites is in Deco. I don't have none right here. Matter of fact, I got to order some more because I use so much of it. But I always get the huge, big one from this brand, Deco Art. Yeah, I like the snow white because they have warm white and different whites and stuff like that. But yeah, I noticed that I've been I didn't use this, but I noticed that it'll crack. It leave a crack a crackling look if you like that because they have things that look crackling. It it it'll be fine, but I just wanted to, and I noticed with the yellow, it is thinner. So each paint gives a different texture. I never really dealt with a paint that each. Cause see, I got Milo in, in like this. I don't have no problem with this. I got it in silver, but I noticed like in white, it, it leaves that little cracking thing. In yellow, I think I seen a little cracking thing. But the other colors, I guess I haven't used them as much. I haven't seen, you know, I haven't seen that. So I just wanted to bring that to y'all attention. Now, when you're working with paints, you would know what works for you. So somebody else might use it and it might don't crack for them. But yeah, so I'm just going to go over this right here. Because I've seen a little crack. But I noticed that with the Milo, I never really noticed that with any other paint. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outline... Let's outline this one by the red. But y'all can outline any one y'all like. And then I'm going to do it down here on the orange. I'm going to do it. Um, right here on the blue. We'll do this one right here. I got hit a little bit right there, but I'm just going to make a dot. <laughs> Get this. This is my favorite glue. Besides another one. But we using this one right now. This is my um second number one. Second number one. I got two number one glues I like to use. I put it in the description box, the other one I'm talking about. Um so I'm just gonna get my hands. Look at the paint hands, y'all. The paint hands. You know, in between doing this video, I'm doing other orders. I'm working on other things, so. This video was literally done in a day. Okay. 
So I put the glue under there. The glue is a little strong. So I think I'm going to make this going this way. Because on this one, I had it going the opposite way. I just think that will be cool. Funky dope. Funky dope. Cultured. Beautiful earrings. All right, y'all. So this is mainly the design. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put a matte a matte gloss on this and then yeah, I'm going to put a matte gloss on this and then once that dry I'm going to put a glossy gloss and y'all know I use triple thick check my chip, triple thick video out I'll put the link up here if y'all haven't checked the triple thick video out but this is my number one gloss that I like to use I beaded mine with this bead these two beads well three beads I beaded mine if y'all need me to do a video showing y'all how I, I bead my stuff, which I'm probably going to do that anyway, so I get that extra, I get asked a lot about that. I don't know. What's probably some paint. I got to get some alcohol and get that, that little paint off my bead. When I, when I come back, all this will be dry gloss. Earrings will be done. And if y'all have any questions, put it down in the comments. All right, y'all. I hope y'all like this design. It was fun creating with y'all. So I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, y'all. We are done. I want to tell y'all a few things. This one dried. It had that yellowing look. And I forgot what the yellowing thing. I think something to do with air or something. So I had to go over it again with the... um the white so what i what i usually do when it do does that with the yellowing i take a matte like a matte modge podge and put over it and then once that dry then i use the, the triple thick it just happened every now and then i don't get it a lot with me um it's just the pins i don't know if it got something to do with the wood the air but it, it don't it don't do it all the time so these came out dope, y'all, right? So y'all going to see a video with me rocking them. So stay tuned for the next video. Our live is coming up. And I'll put announce the announcement, the date of when that live will be. These cute earrings. That's what I named them, y'all. These cute earrings. <laughs> yeah, so y'all get creating um, when we do the live. Uh, like I said, I'll tell y'all the date. Hopefully y'all will have y'all pair of earrings. Cause I'm going to do the live when y'all can come on. Or y'all could be in the comments, but if y'all want to come on and show what y'all created, that will be dope. All right, y'all. So check me out in rocking them. So we finished the video and these are, they're beautiful, right? I pray that y'all, if y'all give them, giving them as gifts, if y'all going to make y'all money from, make sure y'all get y'all value. You can sell these as high as you want to sell them. They're handmade. So I'll see y'all in the next DIY. Thank y'all so much for supporting. Leave a beautiful comment. But donate to this channel, y'all. Only $1 for each subscriber. Don't forget to pick up litter in your community. Respect those that respect you. Adopt a pet from your local rescue or shelter. All right, y'all. See y'all next time. Salam, salam.